What's up all my Dorks, Nerds, Geeks, and Gamers? It's your host Ghost here and you're watching a brand new episode of Dorks Den Movie Minute. Today we're going to be talking about a Christmas movie that just came out on HBO Max. This is 8-Bit Christmas starring Neil Patrick Harris. Um, I do got to say this is a, a, a modern day Christmas classic in my opinion. Um, it's, a, it's a very fun, uh, cute little family movie uh, about a kid trying to get his very first NES and he's telling his daughter the story about how he got his first NES. Um, which really the story doesn't matter in the long run, but we'll get there. Uh, so yeah, it's all these wacky adventures about him uh, trying to help his dad out and get one, trying to trick his mom into getting him one, uh, all the adventures at school and being made fun of and for his girl boots and all this. Uh, there's stuff about going to the mall and losing his sister because he got distracted by looking at the NES display um, and all these other things. So yeah, very very Christmas heavy uh, movie. Uh, we got David Cross in here who is great as this um, this shady uh, toy dealer who sells toys out of the back of his van or the back of his trunk. Uh, very hilarious. David Cross works really well, but he's also got some touching moments towards the end of the movie. Uh, but the, the kid cast works really well. The guy that played Neil Patrick Harris as a kid looked really well. Um, the other kids all work really well together and they play off each other really well. Uh, the twists and turns in this movie, I'm not going to spoil much of them at all, uh, but from the get-go there's a twist and turn in the movie that makes it just a slightly darker Christmas movie, uh, but it's still light enough and cute enough and, and holiday cheer enough to be a good Christmas movie. Uh, the main thing about this movie is the point of the movie. Like I said, I don't want to spoil the movie at all, uh, but the point of the movie isn't about getting an NES. The point of the movie is about um, enjoying what you do get um, and uh, just being thankful for what you have already um, and not wanting more than what you already have. Uh, so that's the main point that they're going for and it's, sometimes it's a little bit too late to um, want something so bad because sometimes time just takes it away from you and you never get it back. So. That's the main point that this movie is trying to tell. I think it worked really well, and it's from the producers of Elf, so they kind of knew what they were doing with their Christmas holiday perspective on the film. Um, and it works really well, not only as a Christmas movie. Like, as a Christmas movie, I give this a 10 out of 10. It's a great Christmas movie, it works really well. But it also works as a pure gamer movie, as a fan of Super Nintendo and Nintendo products, um, and the craze that was the 1980s when you were trying to get those products. Um, then yes, it also works in that, fa in that fabrication as well. Um, as a game movie, I give it an 8 out of 10. As a Christmas movie, I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, so we're going to average that out to a 9 out of 10. I thought it was a really, really good movie. It had a really good heart, uh, heartfelt message, and it had something that actually had meaning behind the movie after you watched it. Um, and I also thought it was funny. A lot of it was hilarious. Um, the parent dynamic between the kids and the parents is very funny, and it is appropriate for all ages. There's no horrible language. There's a few puking scenes, but other than that, uh, it's not nothing you haven't seen um, on any other children's movie or TV show. Uh, but let me know down below what you guys thought of 8-Bit Christmas. I definitely enjoyed this, and if you guys have HBO Max, I highly, highly recommend you guys check this one out. Um, 9 out of 10 from me. Uh, but let me know down below what you guys thought. Is it one of your favorite Christmas movies? And if it's not, let me know one of your favorite Christmas, Christmas movies down below, and I may check it out and give my own uh, Dorkston Movie Minute review. I've uh, been your host, Ghost, and until next time, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below. Adios.